topic of this video is solving logarithmic and exponential equations. The skill you'll be developing here is to combine previously learned skills together in such a way that you rearrange a logarithmic or exponential equation to get the variable on its own, to solve for the value of the variable. Here are some tips for your success in this section. Number one, the equations you will use the most are x equals a to the y implies y equals log base a of x. This is the converter that is referred to in previous videos. Log base a of m equals log base a of n implies m equals n. So try to make your equations look like those above. And specifically, try to make your equations look like one of those four equations, then slide across the arrow to the other side. Generally, this will help you achieve your goal. Tip two, when solving a logarithmic equation, the first step is to identify the domain. The last step is to throw away any extraneous solutions that are outside of the domain. So when you first look at an equation, see if it has the word log in it somewhere. And if it does, identify the domain as the first step. Tip three, when logs with the same base are being added or subtracted, combine them using rule six or rule seven. Rule six says, log base a of m plus log base a of n equals log base a of the product mn. And to use that rule, all logs have to have the same base and have to have no numbers in front of the word log. The other rule, rule seven, is log base a of m minus log base a of n equals log base a of the quotient m over n. And just as before, all logs must have the same base with no number in front of the word log. Tip four, when what you are trying to solve for is up in the exponent, rewrite it using a logarithm. Use your converter. Turn x equals a to the y into y equals log base a of x. And again, that's your converter, which has the shape, the red circle, the blue box, and the green trapezoid. Tip five, when you have equal exponential expressions with different bases, like two to the x power equals three to the two x power, take the log of both sides to solve the problem. Then using rule nine, you can get the exponent of the argument to move to be in front of the log. Tip six, when you have logarithmic expressions with different bases in the same equation, like log base six of the sum x plus nine equals one plus log base 36 of x, use the change of base formula to make the two different log bases the same. Tip seven, in an exponential equation, if you can create a situation where all exponential expressions involving a variable are exactly the same, make a substitution and use algebra to solve the problem. For example, turn e to the x squared plus four e to the x plus three equals zero into u squared plus four u plus three equals zero by replacing each instance of e to the x with u. Then when you solve for u, replace that u with e to the x to solve for x. This method is referred to as u substitution. And finally, tip eight, always check your final answers. If you get an answer to a problem, you should definitely check that answer.